Hello, my name is Jose Reyes, and for my on essay project, I will be doing a replication of relief and intaglio printing. Now, what is an on essay project? Uh, for my interpretation, it is a way to use my creativity or our creativity to better understand a topic that you may not otherwise be able to explore through um, your typical essay. Now, I chose intaglio and relief print because of its connection to the distribution as well as the form and function themes just, uh, we explored earlier on in our class. Now, uh, relief and intaglio printing allowed for the mass production of images and, and text on books, and for me, that's something that really set the foundation as to how we see images today and how we are able to perceive that. Now, the three sources I use are as follows. The first one is Royal Academy of Arts. Now, I read a blog titled Make a Relief Print. The second one is from a website called Instructables. Now, here I read more about relief printmaking, especially what to use when doing it at home. Now, the third one was from Belinda Del Pasco, or Del Pesco. Now, she had an article on dry printing at home. And I use all these different sources to draw inspiration on how to use my own equipment, whether through um, getting it at home or getting it at the store uh, to replicate this uh, intaglio and relief printer. Now I'll transition into showing the materials I will be using as well as going through the process. Now to begin the relief printing part of this process, you are going to need foam board, which you can cut up into whatever size you'd like. I'm just gonna use these guys. Um, some acrylic paint a spoon, a brayer, an ink block, which doesn't have to be this, whatever you'd like, um, a ballpoint pen, and finally, a piece of paper. For my first drawing, I will be doing a smiley face. For my second one, I will be doing a little house. Now I will use my brayer and my paint. I will dab my paint on here, like so. Use my brayer against the paint on it. Paint over my pictures. Grab a piece of paper, press it upon here, use a spoon, make sure you secure that, rub it. And then once we're done with that, turn it around. And here's our relief print. Now for the intaglio printing, you're gonna need the same materials except instead of the foam board paper, you're gonna use any sort of cardboard paper. Two to six pieces of paper towel Instead of a brayer, you're gonna use a paintbrush. And for your paper, it's gonna be any sort of printing paper, except now it will be a wet piece of paper, which you can do this running it under the sink or having a tray of water. Grab your cardboard paper and your ballpoint pen and do whatever design you like. In my case, I will be doing a smiley face so you see the difference between intaglio and relief printing. Once you have your desired drawing, make sure you get some paint and 
paint it well enough to even get all those little engravings. Once you have all that soaked in, grab your wet piece of paper, put that on the drawing, and using another piece of paper towel, put that over the piece of paper, grab your spoon, and gently rub it around. Once you're done with that, remove your piece of paper slowly. And there you have it. Now, once again, this is our relief printing how you can see the shape of the smiley face in white, everything else in red. And then here, it's the opposite. And this is our intaglio printing. That was the demonstration and the difference in the process of creating relief print and intaglio print. Now, once again, this was our relief print and here is our intaglio print. I hope this has helped and uh, thank you very much.